Yes. Woo! That was a good one. Oh, yes, man. Did you watch the episode? Did you like it? Were, were you familiar with the whole Tijuana Jackson movie project? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, 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 so so yeah, you, you liked what you saw, right? Yes. And, and you're going to buy it on iTunes? Yes. Are you also going to buy it on Android Play Store? Yes. Are you going to go submit, uh, 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 subscribe to DraftHouse.com and watch it there? Yep, 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 yes. Are you going to write a letter to your senator encouraging it to be a historical document? Anyway, <laughs> I need come over here with this address. <laughs> I, I really wanted to see how far that was going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, should we should we should watch uh, uh, if, if if Brian if you want to take a bathroom break we we, we could watch the uh, the Red Band trailer here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seen it. it. I, I, yeah. I'd like to watch it right now. Uh, yeah, so if somebody wants to uh, pop that there in the chat room, we can uh, we can hook it up. Yeah, uh, oh, man, I should have asked got the yes man if, if he's ever done a peekaboo. <laughs> Funny thing is, I think you laughed through the fact that he had another punchline to that. Probably. I've got a trailer. I don't know if it's Red Band though. If I'm, I'm gonna double check. Uh, yeah, just toss that shit. Toss that shit in the in in the chat. I know there is. Like, oh, I, I know when it. you Google Tijuana Jackson, it says Red Band. Here we go. Red Band trailer. I promised I was gonna do my best to keep TJ out of prison, I'm and that's what I'm gonna do. Stop here, hustling! I'm not talking to you. I'm yeah, talking a, to them. It's about me okay. though. I'm really just following my call and being a motivational speaker. Last I checked, you're the subject of a 10-minute student film, not the Green Mile. Anything's possible. It's like prison pussy, you know? You just gotta use your imagination. <laughs> Have you contacted your family? Y'all kidding, right? My family probably waiting for me outside right now. They be here. I just bought it new. What up, mama? I know you didn't bring these cameras with you. This is my room. Got the whole room smelling like Michael Moore asshole. <laughs> Being TJ's PO <laughs> is frustrating. He stay doing some stupid shit. Don't sugarcoat nothing, nigga. Just tell me how you feel. You like it or not? It was trash. Like hot garbage. <laughs> Man, fuck you, nigga. That verse was cold in the pan and pussy. EQ that shit. Let's do the hook. <laughs> As of today, I'm strictly on my billionaire grind. I denounce that petty hustle. Hey, y'all got y'all got some change or bus passing niggas to hold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna build my motivational company from the flow up till it blow up and get my dough up. Hey, you fuck black guys. <laughs> hey, take, you can take that shit out. They can edit that out. Why can't your ass park on the street like regular fucking people? How much they paying for your little life story? That's classified. No new bars to be in prison. You gotta ask yourself, why is it a nigga fresh out the joint and see a brighter future for you than you can see for yourself? Desired position. Doggy style. Muggin, <laughs> <laughs> muggin no, sure. oh, for the camera, so gym Don't style. Oh, fuck, that looks so good. <laughs> so good, yeah. I'm going to pre-order it now. Uh, t one Jackson. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. And your boys are in it. Your oh. boys are in it. We made the cut. God damn. Oh, yeah, you guys. Still don't hey. believe it. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, uh, uh, Stephen Cogswell, I don't know if it's because he's in Canada. Can you got that Canadian hook up i don't know uh, apparently he got he, he got sent it early so uh he had sent some nice uh screenshots of two people who are on the screen right now hills yeah. oh shit uh yeah i mean I, I think yeah we saw the only thing we've seen was like a very rough cut like and this was like 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 you said dailies it was like just like Clipping oh, it Indiegogo out of donor. the initial, yeah, the the uh, initial, uh, uh, you know, footage that they were processing for the day. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the showbot. Nine attack. Showbot. TV. Some of our episode titles from the day, including Malco in the middle. So 
somehow the number one. I guess technically, if you're watching the video version. All right, poopmypants.com uh, I poop featuring Ramani Malco. And it is poop, P O O P, not the uh, past tense pooped. Pooped. I pooped it's, my pants. At least I poop my pants.com is what takes me to Justin Robert Young on Twitter. Oh. Uh, oh, shit. God damn it. For real? Oh, yeah. Here we go. I poop my pants. Oh, here we go. It auto corrected. I poop. Current. Dun, yeah. Dun. Oh, motherfucker. Dun. God damn it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, that tracks. So. Heads up on that one, pimp. Uh, whoosh, Brave. Uh, by purpose over prison. We're in it. Equal to Tom Hanks. I like equal to Tom Hanks. I'm going to give that one a check. Uh, Tijuana Jackson as Romney Malco. Method acting. Uh, let's see. Romney played MC Hammer, but can't call. Oh, stop it. The musical curse is not real. There is no musical. Uh, the TJCU. Pep Rally. Peekaboo. A little, uh, Drink Tom Hanks tears. <laughs> Don't the boys have bit parts. Uh, I, 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 I uh, drink Tom Hanks tears. Like, like I would be bummed if I made a movie and the title of my hour-long appearance was about an actor who wasn't me. <laughs> uh, kindred spirits and metaphors. Pretty good. We're wacky meth addicts. That's true. Wearing all the hats. Put the vid. The vid. Put him on the vod. Let's see. <laughs> Hamilton that was a very that was a very old Hollywood kind of reading of that, Brad. It's like the vid put him on the vine, the vine. and now <laughs> he's here. Yeah, yeah, you got to give it the grindhouse treatment. <clears throat> the vid put him on the vod, and now he's out for control. Tijuana Jackson in purpose over prison. Man, I'll tell you, you what, might, might know him to... as Romney Malco, but Tijuana <laughs> Jackson puts the VOD in COVID-19. <laughs> I might have to screen this movie on, on the roof. I might have to bring out the uh, the the old uh, screen we had for Hamilton to, uh, to, to play it on the roof. Peekaboo, Shaggy Doo. <laughs> it's Shaggy time his for name? you he to vod a roof. Shaggy Doo. Shaggy on... Doo is his name. <laughs> Eat shit, Casey Kasem. <laughs> Eat shit, Casey Kasem. Shit, Casey. It's Tijuana Jackson in purpose over prison. Night Attack gets their SAG card. Do you guys get SAG cards? Or... Uh, no. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, Until it wins an Oscar, then maybe we can fucking. You yeah. Know. Yeah. Star fuckery phase. Remember Christopher Coppola? Oh. Gall. Uh, that was some fine dancing we did. <laughs> <laughs> it was an hour of it. I think that was a pre-show bit. Um, self-help deep cuts. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to check that one. Uh, let's see. And then it was daytime somehow. Old dogs. Uh, that's true. That's Hollywood magic, baby. I don't know. I like, 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 I heart, 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 part of me just wants. Oh, I also muted the <laughs> That's another thing I did tonight during the show. <laughs> because he was calling during the show. Um, the, uh, uh, do, do you just want to say, uh, we're in a movie or, or something just dead simple that, that, that people who don't know the story up until this moment or, or holy, you know, I don't know. Holy shit, our movie. We're in a movie that belongs to someone else. No. I mean, yeah, I would I would say uh uh Romney Malco made a movie we're in and it's out on July thirty first right. would be also, my, we my play, pick for we a play title. meth addicts. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a good director. <laughs> and he's a great human. And also, we should be better to each other. Empathy rules all. <laughs> I like the way it becomes weirdly imperial at the end. Empathy yeah, just, rules uh, all. <laughs> like, I mean, you got to send it out on something, right? It can't just sit there naked. Now, what well, about... Pe I do like Peekaboo. I think Peekaboo is... is, is Tijuana Jackson's peekaboo, except for I apparently talked over his line. Uh, yeah, uh, I'd say yeah, peekaboo. T Tijuana Jackson presents peekaboo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you to Scooper Nova, uh, Scooper Nova Girl, and everyone who submits show titles using the 
Bang us command in the chat room. Do you want to check? Hold on. What? Tijuana Jackson's peekaboo parentheses is it, it, featuring apostrophe S or presents a, 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 Tijuana Jackson's apostrophe S peekaboo colon parentheses uh colon oh no 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 space uh feet uh, F E A T like you know it's a what? collab uh Brian and Justin as meth addicts yeah, this is getting and Justin as sure. meth all right. And then put comma, Go, mm, dot, dot, dot. Also, it's a movie. Comma, and then yeah. the dot, dot, uh -huh. dot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like. But then but then put, like, superimposed okay. over it. Empathy rules all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send something to Cheeto, and he will you will just get an episode. So the, yeah, ooh, yeah. I will figure this out. I like your <laughs> like, And then, like and then write, style. write, 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, italics oh, slash. Oh, yeah, italics. <laughs> like, oh, sorry, that's a bracket my, I. And then N slash italics. Got it. <laughs> and then in parentheses put tagline, when you've lost everything, you yeah. have a podcast. And then say, uh -huh. uh, uh, right after that, yeah. uh, open on a lonely <laughs> man in a Cheeto diner. You know email.com. That he's hit his last uh, complication and he's ready to give it all up. We then find uh, Alice. She's a young waitress uh, in her late 20s who has a black eye. Uh, she pours coffee into the stranger's mug and says, rough night, huh? So that, and, like, put that then, in the title, too. And then too. you put in parentheses, originally released as, we detached from the space station successfully, yeah, dot, yeah. dot, dot, until the nukes and fake nukes. Exactly. And then say footnote, like one, and then put at the bottom of the title a tiny little one mm. that says oh, the uh, following. Footnote. That's right. Yeah, the following. <laughs> really, it was Ali Spagnola's fault. Like, fucking, like, who on earth would fucking do a power hour and then allow their friends to answer, like, qu and, like and, sensitive questions? And they put hashtag Aquibi original. <laughs> yeah. They put that in the hat. That's the hashtag. Put that, okay. put that in no, the hashtag. No, it's in the, it's the very yeah. last well, part of the I mean, title. That's right. Yeah. But, that's, <laughs> but okay. then also, Oh, but then uh -huh. also also hashtag ad hashtag because it's spawn con it's spawn con all right but great spawn con yeah and oh email yeah. sent all right uh if anybody needs good to go guy good thing. guy I, 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 look, I, you two motherfuckers were saying that you thought romani what? malco Come was on. a piece of shit and i was like no i think he's a good guy i I'm i think finally, i was proven i'm finally right. swayed i'm finally swayed <laughs> Uh, a decade of fucking thinking that he's uh, a brilliant person, but secretly resenting him. Uh, you know, I'm finally ready to give it up. All it took was 10 years of friendship and him putting me in a movie. Bryce is is awkwardly silent right now. I don't know. <laughs> so, Robin, it sounds said, to just, me like a, a little bit of consent happening. No, uh, what? Mm. what? No, I, in fact, I, I was telling Justin this earlier, actually, uh, by complete chance, uh, watched Baby Mama over the weekend, which he's in and is great in. Uh, I think I could show the kids forty-year-old Virgin, right? I guess. Do they know who Kelly Clarkson? Is? I mean, they they know Steve Carell from the. Uh, no, yeah, they, no, it's, a, they, yeah, they, yeah, it's, it's just a funny. It's, it's just a, a one. It's a it's a non sequitur, but yeah. I mean, I'm sure. Uh, no, it'd be fucking hilarious. I mean, if you, I mean, number one, if you want to prime them to be impressed that Dad's in a movie with. With Romney Malco, then show them Forty Year Old Virgin. All right, you could just show them all oh, like eight seasons point. of Do Weeds. They know about fucking. Oof. I mean, this is going to be a moment where you could like really be like, to them cool shit. Hey, we're in it for four seconds. Come on. <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. If you build up that he's a star. Well, yeah, he's a star, yeah. a Hollywood star, and and then you're just watching a movie where he's in it, and it's like, oh wait, your dad shows up, like that'd be pretty fucking cool. Which is the best line in Forty Year Old Virgin, uh, like bags of sand or uh, pussy on the pedestal? Bags of sand. Bags of sand is so good. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> fucking pussy on a pedestal. Pussy on a pedestal is the most iconic line. Like that shit yeah. still gets said all the yeah. time. 
By the way, Spider Bite points this out. Was the character that uh, uh, TJ said, uh, do you fuck black guys, the camera people that Brian and Justin were originally supposed to play? Yeah. Oh yeah. We were we were supposed to I mean originally. Oh, that's right. We were that, we were gonna we were gonna have recurring bits through the whole thing of being the camera folks. Yeah, and so yeah, it would mostly be us VO, but it would we would like have camera people. But I guess when he changed it to students, then we were students. Yeah. Like, you know. Uh but that being said, if if our shit is funny, like I'm good with it. I mean, I hope this thing becomes huge and I hope we get to point to us being at ground zero. Like I want to be Oppenheimer saying I am become death destroyer of worlds and, and you could be Einstein. Uh, or maybe I mean, Feynman. I, I mean, in that metaphor, they regretted their actions very deeply. I changed nothing about my statement. <laughs> Spider Bite says, as I recall, the characters were initially named Brian and Justin, so I wonder if they just changed it to Justina and Brianna. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Um Good guy. He's a good I'll guy. tell you what, I actually had only seen the Green Band trailer. Uh, of of that movie and I was like you want to know what like I'm really glad he's got these great little moments of you know him outside the prison when his family doesn't pick him up and everything but like goddamn red band gets it good loses, it, it loses <laughs> something when you don't have those fucking stingers because like Regina and Romney are two of the funniest fucking like explosive profanity people like in the game like at all writ large uh oh i'm pumped we, we're in a good movie that's awesome i mean uh yes i i i'm very glad that i had not seen the trailer before the movie because otherwise the entire episode would be nothing but play it again bryce <laughs> <laughs> let me see that trailer <laughs> Should, should we add that to the title? Could you just email <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, Cheeto again yeah, and yeah, just yeah, add that yeah, to the yeah, title? Yeah, right, hey, also, com. play it again, Bryce. Uh, <laughs> but then say SFX Wilhelm I don't screen. know why I really opened my email for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I'm distracted over here. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't have a Wikipedia article? Uh, which of y'all are Wikipedia people Get that shit up there That's a legit ass movie With legit actors yeah. And us Put us in in Way ahead of where we should be In billing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See uh, Alphabetical for Brian And then That's yeah, really and then Reverse oh, by most alphabetical By last ambiguous. name Yeah no. <laughs> For Yeah Reverse yeah. alphabetical By last name Just make name. a new column <laughs> <laughs> oh man well first we got to see if we're in it which still we're Gosh, theatrically so. saying we don't unverified. know unverified the only way that you will know is if you go buy it right now tijuanajackson.com if you got apple it's itunes if you got android it is google play because you know that's the thing that people ask us the most, right? Whenever there's anything with like multiple platforms or you're like pushing out a project that yeah. everyone like well, we, the we way they train this audience is, for too long to be like how much where for maximum effect. How much Google Play you getting? That's Zero. a constant Zero. thing that's said on the on uh, the streets on FTR's <laughs> fireside chats. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's Thursday in America. How much yeah. Zoom are you getting? Well, the other day I was walking down the street <laughs> and I asked somebody. Just kidding. Whoa, whoa, I, yeah. I wasn't. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's not illegal when the I, president I, does it. I was, I was rolling down the street, smoking Indo, <laughs> sipping on gin and juice. They see me rolling and they ask whether or not I've bought the new movie. <laughs> Steel I'm in a Jackson. wheelchair. <laughs> I'm FDR. Look at me. Check out this jump, kids. Hey. You ever wonder what the FDR stands for? 
<laughs> me, me too. Yes, what does it stand yeah. for? I'm the kids. Uh, fucking, fucking dope reviews. <laughs> I'm getting around in this fucking wheelchair. I just want to let you know, polio hasn't fucking sapped this fucking dick from working. Oh shit. Oh wait, is that fucking two terms? Guess I'm gonna have to roll on past that shit too. <laughs> Let me show you the term that I've called the peekaboo that I hope nobody rips off in the future. Yeah. That's called I got a hole a, in my called... chair and you have to fucking roll under like you're fixing a car. <laughs> I'm now imagining that's a cutaway to FDR. Two are in the Franklin room watching Franklin Dirty Ryden. That's, a, that's how FDR gets his dick sucked. I just fucking let it dangle through what I call the trap door. Anyway, my face is on the dime now, so get yeah, bent. Exactly. Could FDR oh, the dime is the new penny? Oh, 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 do you think you're as good of a president as I am? Oh, okay. How was your third term? Oh, wait. You can't have a third term because I made sure that nobody had any more than fucking two terms after that. Then I guess you better shut the fuck up. Man, the only time I've seen a bigger flex is in a little picture called Goatsy. Which is a favorite of mine. <laughs> FDR. I fucking love it. Goatsy's the best. That was a good joke. The bigger flex, the only bigger flex is Goatsy. Uh, yeah, because his butthole was pulled because really his butthole wide. wide. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also, FTR loves it unironically. <laughs> I thought we were building. That's mm. fine. I love it. We, can, we can stop. We can stop. We can stop. And <laughs> I love to see you say you're trying to make people laugh. <laughs> we can stop and appreciate your joke. Yeah, we can stop the comedy to recognize we're doing comedy. Oh, good joke, like. We should make an award. God damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. That would be the worst. If we made an actual Have you award. Seen that, uh... <laughs> and it's like anytime something happens and it lands. <laughs> like fucking like. I have great news. Great. And you're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then this shit comes mm. out. Uh, have you guys noticed that Hulu is trying to do a comedy awards thing now? The ha ha's. No. Ugh. Oh, good God. Go what ahead, a terrible wait. name. That also, it's like though, they did see Comedy Central try to do that every year for like three uh, terrible years. The ha ha's. <laughs> yeah. Although, I mean, what is good is the ting tings. And yes, here's your award, award for that reference. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> hey man, give it to them. I'm the one who was uh, late to that party. Um, Appar apparently, they were on like fucking. Uh, 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 what was the Nickelodeon show? The crazy one. All the that. No. You can't <laughs> say that it, on television. Uh, no. Yeah. Now you're gonna Roundhouse. Nick no. News God, it. with Linda Ellerbe. No, 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 no. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, w five. The one with the white background. Uh, oh, Ren and Stimpy. No. God damn it. Uh, all that. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Uh, Clarissa explains it all. Pete and Pete. It was Pete and Pete, wasn't it? Was it Pete and Pete? I it's can see the Ting Tings. Strange. Jack Black was on it. We are the Ting Tings. We wrote this song and sang it. Ay, ay, ay. Brian Brushwood loves us. <laughs> Into decades later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody in the chat room has entered a conspiracy to refuse yeah. to give me the actual name. No one knows. Dude, right? Everybody it was, hey, knows. Dude. It's, a, it's a little wild and a little strange. <laughs> Oh, when Brian Brushwood <laughs> finds out about the Tink Tings two decades later. It was the one with but the action figures. we are the figures. Tink Tings, we wrote this song. But you can't get a ride if you can't hold on. Sing it. <laughs> Brian doesn't know the Tink Tings like the cowboys say. That's really odd now. I hate you. <laughs> are you... Okay, I, this is not a joke. Are you thinking of a... Nickelodeon Kids Choice Award commercial again because I feel no. like this. No, no, I feel like no, you no, this no, and no. Then I was no. This. Okay, that that is not it, but it looks like that, and it's got a, a, a black dude as the host, uh, and mm. and it's wacky. Yo, Gabba Gabba, ha ha, fuck you, fuck you, Yo, Gabba Gabba. That oh. type in Yo, Gabba Gabba. I know what Yo Gabba. I, I oh 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 about now oh now you know it. I know what Yo Gabba Gabba is, but I thought you were talking about something old. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar. 
I thought you were talking about something old. Your whole, your whole shit was like, oh, I only just found out about the Ting Tings. I'm sorry, all this old content I missed. The Yo Gamma Yo Gamma so is so old. No, it's not. You're old. You're on a kid's show. Huh. I also don't know the Ting Tings to begin with, so. Yeah, neither do I. You're right, Brian. This whips. <laughs> I mean, it'll stop it. <laughs> okay. Because hey, Romney Malco hey. appears to be loving this. I didn't know D. Reynolds could sing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> she does look DS. Come on. But... Yeah, Ting Tings right, are good. Right. You still listen to all of their stuff, and then apologize. Yeah. Shit, what were we talking about? God damn it! When we're talking about Ting Tings, wait, 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 wait. the Ben Franklin. This is a program that debuted in two thousand seven. That is not old. That's it's that's old. older than most of my children. But you were talking about twenty years ago. Yeah, you were talking about Roundhouse and Clarissa explains it all and all these other Nickelodeon <laughs> no, shows. No, that was you guys. Mm, that was don't think so. The fuck? Oh god, we were helping you figure so. it out. Yeah. So we oh, I'm sorry. are in the right. Oh, I'm sorry right. for helping. I'm sorry for helping. <laughs> Did uh, uh, Nick Howell brings up Rocco's Modern Life? Did you guys see the new those like a uh, new Nick? specials of like Rocco and Zim that they put out where do you get do you is do you have I, any I, I, Venn diagram I, I, with I, Rocco I've watched a, a few of Zim that's about it oh okay. no no Rocco Rocco is very much in my wheelhouse the, Rocco was uh uh yeah laundry day is a very dangerous day that's a fucking that's something that I say to this to this very day because of that Rocco's modern life episode the uh the Rocco special on Netflix is really really good um the Zim one is fine. The Zim one is like through the lens of it being however many years since Zim was, you know, a popular thing. Um, and so it's very like, because I, I think kind of is meta. It, is, is, is it like Zim Lebowski uh, or like, like no, he never the, made it? And like, I, like I end up binging uh, Invader Zim before I watch the special because uh, they're both there. You can stream both of them. And the like original show is like like really like dirty and like tragic and nasty and then the this this special is like kind of clean looking and really sharp and very i don't know it feels like i mean it feels like a special that you do after all of the cultural impact of of invaders in very very random um some cool like artistic stuff that they do uh, but just I I didn't no, I didn't know there Rocco was a one. new Rocco. I didn't know there was a new Rocco on Netflix. Yeah, that's fucking wild. Uh, I think because a, a few years ago Nickelodeon was like, yeah, we're gonna do like specials of all of our old shows that you guys like, and they did it with Hey Arnold, and they realized, oh, those people aren't old enough to have kids and don't watch television anymore, and so they sold them all to Netflix, and now they have this big Netflix partnership. Oh uh, damn! So I don't know if the Hey Arnold one is on Netflix. Maybe um, I would like to see that. I gr I grew up on. Hey Arnold, tell you what, football head. Oh yeah. Uh, I yeah. For whatever reason, somebody mentioned Snick to me, and I was just like, man, that was like definitely like a moment in time for a a an age cohort that I was a part of. Uh, like that. Are you afraid of the dark? Roundhouse, Red and Stimpy, like package that was like every element of my like teenage being like gross out uh trying to fit in with what is cool and modern and then like kind of wanna be sad boy goth emo like but it was the sad or the the safe packaged version in like are you afraid of the dark where it's like oh it's a scary story but then, of course, like I always loved in the first season, they had stories that ended with people like 
being trapped forever and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And then like after that, everybody wound up getting out at the end. Mm, It's like, man, I like the first edge. I like the first season, man, where the guy got caught in the pinball machine forever, man. Okay, I was thinking about the pinball machine. That's the only episode of of Are You Afraid of the Dark that I can remember because he's in the mall and the mall turns into a big pinball machine. Yeah. Oh yeah, my God. and then it and then it turns out he can't get out, yeah. and he's just fucking caught in there forever. And it's Fuck. like that was like the fucking one of the coldest things I ever saw on television when I was a kid. And then past that, it's like I figured like, all right, in the season, I was like, man, all right, they're gonna have one episode a season that will like end in the fucked up way, and they'll do like nine good ones and then one fucked up one, and they just never did a fucked up one again. Oh. Like they just. Everybody always got out and reversed the curse and everybody fucking actually wasn't dead. They were just locked in a fucking closet made of jelly or some shit. Oh, so no. this is what it feels like to have a, a, a stroke or to, 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 to be 90. I, uh, this is what I hear every time. What's oh that Flaskin' yeah. Rats show, show you were talking about? Uh, the one with the snakes and the songs? Yo, Gabba Gabba! The, you, we just watched it no, seconds the, ago! The movie thing. I don't know. The, oh. This is how I hear... This is what I hear every time you no, talk about yeah, some God, movie. Yeah, when, 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 when you went through the fucking, like, you know, a uh, 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 late 80s uh, uh, limited series thing, like, and yeah, just, what like, wanted that? to talk about oh, every... No, all of them. Oh, yes, no, V yeah. and Lonesome Dove, Lonesome and Dove, Rider. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You should watch those. So I apologize for the ten minutes Bryce and I had connecting <laughs> on a television show. No, Please I, go I, ahead. I, I, what I other have, what I other show empathy. would you like to talk about? I mean, you I, said I learned... this is what it feels like <laughs> to have a stroke. That's not empathy. <laughs> what do you mean? This is what it feels like to blank. Times, how is many the times, how definition many times, of blame. Or, or, we don't need to. Say, we don't need to. Lit, 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 we actually don't need to lit, lit, litigate this. I'm just saying that no compliment starts with "I feel like I'm having a stroke right now." <laughs> I mean, okay. Remember Teen Nick? I don't remember Teen Nick. No. What? Oh, sorry. Is after. I is after Snake. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like the. <laughs> Do you watch any I, of this? Stuff? I like the way that that we defined something as a culturally rude thing to do, and then the next words out of Bryce's mouth were, "What about this one?" <laughs> <laughs> and you do it all the time. What about the this exclusionary of- thing? <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. What would you like to talk about, Knight Rider? I don't uh, know Knight Rider. I mean, I, I mean, I could talk about Knight Rider. Well, I can't. Uh, the boy, the, the voice of Kit, uh, later was on Boy Meets World. Was he Feeny? Huh? Was he Feeny? I don't know. He was the principal. Yeah, it was Feeny. Feeny. It's Feeny. Feeny. Yeah. yeah. Feeny, Feeny, Feeny. Topanga, bad name. Man, I mean, it was a good name. For the demo, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, for, for whatever reason, it sounded like penis, and I was thinking about my penis when I was looking at Topanga. I never put that would together. It, I never would it be put that better together, dog. When we talk about Hearthstone, if we limited it to the libertarian politics of Hearthstone... <laughs> Maybe the fiscal policy. That's a great way. That's a great way to expand <laughs> to make it the reach on our Hearthstone talk. Is right? To also talk about. I swear to God, maybe it's because I know so many people that are into libertarian shit, but it's like I've never heard about a party talk so much shit about itself than the Libertarian Party. Like I don't know. There like might be a core audience of like 500 people that like really love the Libertarian Party, and then there is. Another, like, I would say roughly four to six times that amount that, like, are interested very much, like, by their beliefs in the Libertarian Party that actively <laughs> fucking hate it. Can we, can we, hold on. Let me just, I'm just spitballing you. What if you and I did what presented as an unironic podcast that is a listen through of all of the Amos and Andy episodes or all of the Fibber McGee and Molly out. episodes. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> or all of the Flash Gordon episodes. Like we picked the or 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 the uh uh a, a breakdown of the BBC earliest recordings or whatever and and then and then we just 
Listen, shit on him. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> we 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 listen, and uh, I don't know. It's very clearly not like like we always start with a clip from it. You know what that clip makes me think of, and then we just do night attack, and then <laughs> and then we cut to a random other clip or whatever. I mean, I don't, yeah, it sounds fucking cool to me. I like it. Nobody else is doing it. Uh, let me let me actually ask you a question, uh, or, or or bring something that Meryl Barr brought up in the chat. Uh, so rank choice voting, you for it or get it? Oh, huge for it, huge, huge for it, for it. Mm. four square it. All right, separate question. Do you believe in uh, uh America and the world that we don't focus enough on unintended consequences? Yes, I agree. We don't. Fo- we should focus n- nonstop on unintended consequences. Well, then I would very much encourage you to listen to the Friday episode of Politics, Politics, Politics. Wherein? Oh, no, does it turn out that it's a bad idea? Some very interesting data, according to my guests. <sighs> you, I mean, I I understand that you're always going to end up with beige, right? I mean, that's. Uh, really, uh, his point was that it actually decreases voter turnout, at least in terms of where we've done it in America, comparatively, like granted on lower scale voting things, but like, it, it, it like, like Maine's playing with it right now. Right. Well, here in the Bay area, apparently he's based in San Francisco, but, uh, I didn't realize I've, I voted in like three rank choice voting elections, uh, and uh, I didn't realize I had, or I guess I did in the moment. I'm like, I'm being asked to choose multiple things. So I'm like, ah, oh, that's kind of weird. But I didn't think of it as ranked choice voting at the time. Uh, but he said in the Bay Area elections and then the other elections in America where they've done it on a citywide level, uh, it has not only decreased voter turnout, but also decreased minority voter turnout specifically. Uh, okay, well, that's... Uh, two two sides of that. Uh, one is I would imagine. Uh, 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 also, I would encourage you to listen to the thing because I don't remember everything that 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 he said. But it is a great interview, and it is an interview that I even in the interview I become excited to share with other friends of mine, uh, who are like very into ranked choice voting. Not because he's not; it's because he's like, hey, look, we should think about these things, and also not think about ranked choice voting like it's a magic bullet because it it almost certainly is not a magic bullet and tends to only really reward high information voters and does not make people who are just kind of doing a thing to do a thing any smarter or better or have their opinions more represented comparative to what they really believe. Hmm. And this is on PX3? Indeed it is. All right. On it. On it. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, that's my hilarious comedy runner, and uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I hope everybody no, laughs no, no, at no. my great joke. No, 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 no. Uh, they'll be laughing when they watch us on uh, Tijuana Jackson, uh, Purpose Over Prison. Uh, Matt J. Watt says, "I'd love to see an interview about mandatory voting." Uh, I would too, and I feel like I'm gonna need to put that into the thing because, uh, boy, do those Australians love fucking uh, defending mandatory voting, and boy, do I fucking have nothing but contempt for mandatory wow. voting and like- your force-fed sausage bullshit. <sighs> yeah, um. I mean, that seems like the biggest recipe for fraud I can imagine. Uh, I mean, look, every country is its own different thing. Granted, Australia has less of a population than the state of California. So there are different solutions for different kind of population samples. But, uh, you know, look, it, it is what it is. I just, I don't mind having a large portion of our country not voting. Okay, because to me, not voting means eh, you just what, kind of what, think what, what, it so, is so, what it so, is. so let's let's rephrase that as seems to me. Uh, what what do you think about the proposition that uh, that people should have to care if they vote? Are you for that or against that? 
Like, you're not allowed to vote if you legitimately don't care. I mean, yeah. Because uh, 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 that, that is a restatement of the exact same proposition. <laughs> that is the that is a, an accurate restatement of mandatory voting. Is uh, The reverse is, it seems to me like you should care. Um, yeah, people got different philosophies on it. I, I, I just, I just don't particularly cotton to mandatory voting and, uh, uh, you know, but again, I'm always willing to talk to people. I'm always willing to have people on the show. Like I'm not a big rank choice voting guy, uh, uh, but I had the rank choice voting guy on and the rank choice voting guy on, as it turns out, turned out to be somebody that had a lot more numbers and wound up, uh, you know, pointing out uh, uh, things. But as soon as he was mentioning, he's like, oh, like rank choice voting, these complications, unintended consequences. I was like, oh, this is fucking like this is this is the Death Star port for all of my libertarian friends, right. all my libertarian friends that fucking love. Like, I just know the exact thing I fucking got you on where it's like, do you like ranked choice voting? Absolutely. Best idea. Are you concerned about unintended consequences? Yup. Why aren't we paying more attention to them? Let's Aha! talk. <laughs> <laughs> ba -da, ba -da. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, all right. We've been going three and a half hours now. What say we call it a night, even though we didn't do a happy hour? Yeah. Uh, happy hour tomorrow. Yep. I'm in. All right. Uh, all Monday through, or all through the rest of the week too. Uh, certainly tomorrow. Okay. We'll figure it out. I don't know. Yeah, you want to commit? You want to? You want to do it for the rest of the week? I, I'm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Rest okay. Of the week, yeah. Done. It, uh, it, it 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 did feel like it was a safe, okay thing where it's like on an episode where we're gonna celebrate with Robin e. Malco that we could save some powder for the, uh, you know, the big the big show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool beans. All, All right. right. Thank you everybody for watching. Love you guys. I'll be back tomorrow. See ya. I'll be back on Friday. Jerry will be back on tomorrow? Uh, no, no tomorrow. Podcast only tomorrow. And then uh, Thursday, back on streaming. Thursday on Justin Arion. Yeah. All right, everybody. Have a good one. Libertarian Hearthstone for all. Ranked choice libertarian. Unintended consequences. Hearthstone. 